Now let us talk about unit testing, the first block in our testing pyramid, right? So when we say unit testing, we are basically saying that we need to test a unit of our code. A unit of code means a functionality, a function which you have written, a complete class which holds all the functionality or anything like struct or enum any anywhere wherever you have written any functionality you can test it using unit testing okay so when we are writing unit test there are certain rules to make sure that we are writing good unit test and those are your test should be independent of each other right so two of your unit tests should not depend on each other that is one rule you should always follow unit test cannot depend on it, each other it has to execute separately it can never depend on each other the second one is there should not be any implementation logic in unit test because that is what you are testing you are testing your feature you are testing your functionality which you have written in your code through unit testing so you cannot write your functionality your implementation in the unit test you are actually just calling that implementation or functionality in the unit test and just compare it with the expected output and test it so you are testing the implementation logic so you should not write any implementation logic inside the unit test and the third one is test should be simple fast clean and readable right so it has to be very simple so as i told you earlier we have test structure triple a test structure which we should follow which makes it very easy to understand for new developers as well it makes it simple and clean and readable and when i say fast it should not depend on any network call your unit test should not depend on any network call or anything which is doing any task on some other thread. It should be very quick. So if you are dependent, if your code is dependent on any network call or anything which is doing any thread based logic where your unit test will have to wait, you should not do it. You should create mocks in such scenario. We will see in this tutorial how to create mocks for network calls and that should make it much clearer for you. How to write a unit test? So if you want to write a unit test or any kind of test, in Flutter we have three types of test, unit test, widget test and integration test. All these tests if you want to write, you have to create a new file whose name must end with underscore test. So file name must end with underscore test. So for example, if you are testing a validator.dart file, which is basically for validating your email ID or password, then your test file name should be validator underscore test dot dart. So this is a rule which applies on widget testing, integration testing and unit testing as well. So whenever you are writing a test case, whenever you want to write test in Flutter application, you have to create a new file with the name ending with underscore test. And to write the actual test case, you have to write the test case inside the main function. In each test file, you have to write this main function and then in that main function, your test case should look like this. So this is one test case. So the test case method which is provided by Flutter to us is test. So when you type test, you will get an autocomplete to provide a description and then this is your test body. So the description of the test is what differentiate your test from other test cases so whatever you will write over here you will see it when you run your test and it will tell you which test you have run exactly so this description part is very important it should be very descriptive you should write a complete description of the test so let's say if you're validating a email address so you should write that this test should validate email address for invalid email id right so whatever you are doing whatever test you are writing this description will tell you that what exactly your test is doing and this makes it very simple for anyone to understand and it 
actually gives you a very good documentation for your code as well. And once you have given the description, inside the body, you should arrange your test. You should write your test in the AAA format. You, you have to first arrange, then act, and then assert. So let's write our first test case now. Okay, so now let's start writing our first test, first unit test, okay? So this is my sample application. This is, I have named it first test. So if you create a new application with Flutter, it will give you this sample application. This is nothing but the counter application which Flutter gives you when you create a new application. So we don't need to worry about this. And if you see in our test folder, there is a widget underscore test file. So we don't need to worry about this as well because we have not reached to that point where we are writing our widget test. We have to write a simple test, simple unit test first. So what I'll do, I'll delete this file because we won't be doing this. We won't be doing widget testing as, as of now. And we will be writing our unit test. So to write a unit test, you need a unit also. You need a function on which you'll be writing a unit test. So let's create a let's create a class. Uh, let's create a new file and name it maths util. So we will be writing some maths function and we'll be testing it. Very simple, right? So let me just write one function to add two numbers, right? And it will take two numbers, int a and int p. Very simple function and it returns the additions of a and b. Right? So this is a small function. This is a very small unit which we will be testing in our test. Okay? So in the very first test, we'll be testing this small function. So let's write our test file. So new file in the test folder we'll create a new file and we will name it maths underscore util so the file of the the name of the file which we'll be testing and then underscore test so this underscore test is for our compiler to understand that yes this is the file where we are writing the test and you should check all the test in this file right so that dot dot and we can write our test over here. To write our test, first we have to write our main function. So let's write our main function. And all the tests we'll be writing in this main function. And now we'll be writing our first test. So our first test will be on this function, which is the addition function. So let's write it, test. And as soon as you enter it, you have two parameters in this test function. One is the description and one is body. Description, as I told you before, we have to give a proper description for our test. So it should tell you what exactly this test is doing. So I will give it a name. I'll give it a description and I'll say check for two number addition. Okay. So in this test, we are checking if our addition add function is working properly for two number, right? And then in body, we will create our simple test body like this. Let's close it with a semicolon. And over here, I can write our test. Okay, so as I told you, for writing any test, you have to follow three step. One, you have to arrange. So let's say arrange, that's how we write our comment in dart language so i have written arrange then we have to act and then in the last we will assert so assert is where we will be asserting we'll be testing our main functionality so in arrange as you can see we have this function where it is taking two inputs one one in int variable and then another int variable so we have to arrange it so in the arrange function, we will create two integers. So var a equals 10. So this is my first variable. And then var b equals 10. So we'll be testing addition of a and b. Now in act, I will be calling this function over here, this function, and I'll pass my variables in this. So I'll call add and then a and b. a and b, it has already taken and you can close it. 
and you need to take its output so let's say where output is sum okay so this is my output now I can test this sum whether it is equals to my expected output so the expected output would be as we know it should be 10 plus 10 equals to 20 so what we'll do expect that is how we test in uh, dart language so expect and then here you'll have to write your actual value so the actual is sum and then the expected the matcher value so I'm expecting that the sum the the addition function should give me 20 so I will say 20 okay and now close it so this is my first test function and as you can see over here we have a run over here so I can click on it to run it or I can click on this green triangle to run this test there are many ways to run a test one is to click on this uh, name run right and one is to click on this triangle or otherwise you can click on the terminal new terminal and you can expand it and you can write flutter flutter test so this command will run all the tests which you have written in your application right so for now we have only one function one test function so I can just click over here and it should run our test and as soon as it is done we can see this check mark so this check mark means that our test has run successfully now let's give some wrong output so let's say our expect is expecting 20 for the addition let's say we give 10 right now if I run the test it should give me error saying that actual and the matcher is not same so as you see it is giving me error it says actual is 20 and so see expected is 10 and actual is 20 so that is why it is giving us error it just tells you everything what you need to do if you just scroll drag it here you can see everything over here so see expected 10 actual 20 so that is why it has failed so you can say it is 20 and if you run it again it should show you the green check mark again there you go now uh, let's say some other developer comes and they don't see it is an addition function they think that oh this is a subtraction function so they go ahead and do minus over here right so our test will fail again because it is expecting a sum of those two number not the subtraction of those number so this is where unit testing uh, comes handy because if you have a huge code base and anybody can do any changes to your already written functions so if they modify your function and then they run this uh, test the test will fail and then you will know that somebody has modified my function and I should correct it again right so if I run it it should give me an error saying expected as 0 because it, it is giving 0 yeah so expected 20 and actual is 0 so this is the problem so now let's go over here and correct it again and now if I run it it should give me the green check mark there you go okay so we have written our first unit test let's write some more unit tests so let's write more function functions over here let's write addition subtraction multiplication everything and then we will write unit test for all those functions thank you so much for watching to learn more about unit testing please go through this udemy course where I will teach you more about unit testing, about widget testing and also about integration testing with Flutter. I will teach you how to write unit test for API calls as well. You can find the link in the description with the discount coupon which will give you this course for half of its price. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe the channel. And also I hope to see you enrolled in this course. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.